what a total complete and utter dickhead prick whatever you want to call it that is what it is So good morning everybody and welcome to Thursday's Vlogmas, day number 8. Touching a little bit off of the festive message today. Now guys, if you're new, remember to hit that subscribe button and if you enjoy the video, as always, remember to give me a thumbs up and a like because, as I say every single day, it means the world to me and of course continues to support this channel so we can keep growing and getting bigger and better every single time. So, what was the idea of the start of this video with those obscene quotes that I put in place? I'm talking about the whole Cruz Beckham and Piers Morgan scenario. Now, if you live in the UK, you will have seen on the TV yesterday morning, Piers Morgan, who's a reporter stroke journalist in this country, ranting on about Cruz Beckham and his singing career at only 11 years. Some of the things he was saying, I agree with that at 11 years of age, you should be in education and you should be focusing on your future and in your career and getting as much stability behind you as you can. Correct, I agree with that. I'm not going to argue with that. But he then made comments suggesting that David and Victoria Beckham, of course, who are well known celebrities, and I'm sure everybody that's watching this video will know exactly who I'm talking about. He said that they are using their child because their monetary gain is no more and that they're using that fact so that their child then brings them in an income so that their name brand becomes bigger again. I'm really sorry, but I don't agree with it because if you look into the whole scenario behind it, the ins and outs as to what Cruz Beckham was trying to achieve, he's doing a single to create incentive for other young people around the world. Now, surely that's not doing anything wrong. That is saying, I'm an 11 year old kid and I want to motivate other 11 year old kids out there so that they can improve their life, so that they get a better structure in their development and achieve more, achieve success. <laughs> and to suggest that he's simply doing this just to gain monetary fame and fame for himself in a celebrity status, I think is completely wrong. And if you watch the video back, you'll see that some of the comments, some of the remarks he made were so near the knuckle that it's, it's wrong. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, and you know that on my videos, I'm, I, I throw an opinion at you day after day, you know, I, I talk about things that go on around the world, and obviously I always give you my opinion on what I think about things, and then I give you the reasons why I have that opinion in the first place. But he went to the extent that he was coming across harsh. He was so against it, he was so adamant that what Cruz Beckham was doing was wrong, that it didn't matter what the people that were next to him, the other female journalists were saying to him, his point was right. And he's so stubborn, the fact that he has to stick to his point. But what he failed to realize was the whole idea behind why Cruz was doing what he was doing. Point taken, if he was sitting there for himself at 11 years old, trying to make a music career, trying to make a monetary gain for himself, get himself in the charts and become famous and live in his parents' footsteps, then okay, fair enough, I will agree with you full on that an 11 year old child should be in education and getting the best out of their life in a day to day basis that they can. But we need to look at the bigger picture. And when we actually look into the facts behind the reason why he's gone into the studio with a group of people, to create a music single that motivates other 11 year olds and I think it had some sort of charity element to it then we can't suggest that that is wrong we can't then judge that and say Cruz you're 11 years old you should be in school is wrong because we're doing something to help people that are in a worse of situation than ourselves so then how can we sit there and possibly justify that that is wrong correct me if I'm wrong comment and let me know because I think that making a comment like that without looking at the whole picture is wrong in so many ways because you need to address the whole situation before you can even come out and make a totally biased comment i'm not saying that Piers is wrong but i'm saying that he didn't look at the bigger picture and then the answer that he came back with didn't justify the actual scenario of what was happening and what was going on you see where i'm trying to go with this so as I said, it's Thursday the 8th of December. 
and we are 16 days away from Christmas. My gosh, time has flown. I cannot believe it. We are eight days, over a week into daily uploads and we're still bringing content. We're still finding things to film and I'm still talking total and utter bullshit in front of the camera. Is Christmas starting to intrigue us and grip us by the horns a lot more? Are we still thinking it'll all be over soon? We'll get it over and done with. We don't need to celebrate anymore. No more Christmas songs, no more parties because some people this week will have their office Christmas party or their work's Christmas night out or they'll be going out and doing some Christmas shopping, you know? Does the idea of going out buying presents for people or your work's Christmas party, your office do, does it make you feel more festive? Or is it just something that has to be done? Does it become a chore in your day-to-day -day life? Or does it make you feel more like the holiday season's here, you know, tis the season to be jolly, as they say? I don't know, what do you think? I know I've got my uh, Christmas dinner um, a week Friday, so obviously, yeah, for me, you know, it's a shirt and tie, and it, and it makes it festive for me, and it starts to make me feel that Christmas is just around the corner, and I'm starting to get, you know, slightly more excited about the whole concept of Christmas and where we're going with it. So yeah, that was today's message. It's just like opening an advent calendar. You get the words of Damo streamed down to your phone on a daily basis. How amazing. And guys, I'm hoping you're enjoying this new super HD camera quality because some of the ways that these videos are coming out are amazing and I'm so happy that I've been able to bring you once again full HD quality to my uploads. So tomorrow is Friday, and of course Friday, if you are regular on this channel, you will know that it is Fridays with Demo. and tomorrow I have lined up a very special video for you, and it's gonna be very Christmassy, because tomorrow I'm gonna be talking about my favorite Christmas songs and the reasons why I like them. So make sure you check back here tomorrow, and remember, as always guys, please keep smashing that like button, and that big red subscribe button is what makes this channel keep growing, so you know what you have to do. And if you haven't told your friends and family about this channel already, then make sure you do, because it will make my Christmas even better. Thanks for watching guys, enjoy the rest of your Thursday, wherever you are around the world, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for day number nine. Oh, and just a quick one, I messed up at the start of yesterday's video because I said it was day number six, but it was actually day number seven. And no, I don't record, previously and then upload it i am recording on the day that you guys watch it because that is what a legend i am take care guys and i'll see you back here tomorrow